What's up? Some unsweetened tea. Um, yo. Ah, oh, man. I want to talk about <clears throat> something that um takes a certain athlete off. Now, this athlete is not even in the sport of basketball, but he was ticked off at a basketball player. And that's none other than the guy that walks around calling himself TBE, the guy that walks around calling himself money, the guy that walks around that says, um, I'm all about a dollar. You know, that's what I fight for. I fight for a paycheck. That's none other than money, Mayweather, Floyd. All right? Now, Floyd was recently on an interview, and in that interview, he said that, with all due respect to LeBron, I feel I should be um, athlete of the decade because I'm undefeated and I should have been athlete for the past two decades. All right, um, let's get into this. Let's dissect this a little bit. Now, Floyd Mayweather is a professional boxer, okay? Um this guy has had a very unusual boxing career. Usually boxers um, tend to fight their mandatories. They tend to fight guys that um, are next in line. They This is an individual sport now, right? So when you say, I want it, I want to win, um, it's all on you, all right? This is you against the world, so to speak, all right? You want to be the best. In order to be the best, you have to beat the best, all right? And this is the motto of most boxers. But Floyd Mayweather, I think, doesn't care about being the best. But then again, he does care about being the best. Because he labels himself as a brand, TBE. And he calls himself the greatest boxer of all time. Now, most people with a brain or most people that watch sports do not consider this guy the best ever. Rightfully so, because not too many boxers had the luxury of picking who they want to fight. Now, this is a, a fact, okay? So, you have to factor stuff like that in. If I get to pick who I want to play basketball against, you know, and if I don't have a competitive bone in my body and I just want to uh, pick somebody that I know I could beat, um, then... Of course, I'm going to be undefeated. Imagine if LeBron James had the choice to pick who he wants to play in the finals. He would have won every finals. Yeah, I want to play the Atlanta Hawks in the NBA finals. You know, easy championship. But unfortunately for LeBron, he had to face his mandatories. He didn't have the luxury of fighting whoever he, I mean, uh, playing against whoever he wants. Unlike Floyd. Now, the narrative around Floyd is that he fought he fought guys that um or went against guys that were old and out of their prime. Now that's a 50-50, all right? Um one thing is true about Floyd's career is the fact that um he has fought guy he has went up against guys that um um that you could you could question, right? Um he started out, he's a five-time champion in five weight divisions. Now, he started out 130. Um, now, he had 135, 140, 147, and he moved up to 152, I believe. All right? <clears throat> it's five weight divisions. Now, all these divisions, he never cleaned none of these divisions out. All right? He retired multiple times to avoid facing guys that would give him a challenge. This is a typical MO of Floyd. I'm a big Floyd Mayweather fan, okay? So this is not a, a, a diss against the guy, but I'm just speaking facts. I mean, you dissect his career. He left a lot on the table, all right? Now, instead of pushing himself and increasing his legend, he fought guys that he know he could beat. He fought guys that uh, could probably give him a good payday. And he marketed himself that way. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
right? 130 division. He left a lot of guys on the table. All right. He constantly fought guys that um, will make it easy for him. Now, he used to uh, work for Bob Arum, a guy that uh, Pacquiao worked for. Now, if you know Bob Arum, he likes giving people big fights. He likes putting you up against guys that he think uh, stylistically that you will have problems with. Floyd didn't like this. Okay. The last professional fight Floyd had for Bob Arum was Jose Luis Castillo. Now, this was supposed to be a candy pick. Okay. This was supposed to be an easy match for Floyd. And he ends up getting the stot nose beat out of him. And, um, he has to be forced to fight this guy for a rematch. All right. Um, <clears throat> after that, he said, I want to quit working for Bob Arum because he's pushing me too hard. When somebody says he's put, okay, look, anybody in sports, if you hear them say this guy's pushing me too hard and you play sports, doesn't that sound a bit suspect? Doesn't that sound a bit like weak? Um, shouldn't you be want to? Shouldn't you want to be push hard, motherfucker? No. <laughs> uh, am I on to something here? Now, <clears throat> yes, Floyd has won these matches. I mean, the the winning the title thing, I don't hold against him because you face whoever has the title and. If it's an old guy that has a title, he has the title for a reason. I mean, he had to do something to get the title. He's a champion. That's the name of the game, right? So it is what it is on that part. But you can't be athlete of the decade when all you did was um, picked a lot of your matches. You left and came back whenever the division got hot. You know, you went bouncing from division to division to avoid fights. And this guy ducked his legacy fight with Manny Pacquiao for so long. LeBron James don't have that luxury of ducking anybody. He had to face against everybody that you put in front of him. And yes, he lost a couple of times. But in defeat, sometimes you actually win. And in this case, LeBron James has never stopped playing, unlike Floyd. He has continued to um, elevate his team and go to the finals almost every year. Sometimes not playing with a fully loaded clip. You know, meaning, you know, he was missing something sometimes with his teammates. Now, comparing an individual sport and a team sport are two complete different things. Yes. But you can make a case Serena Williams deserve a nod over Floyd. I mean, there's a lot of people that deserve a nod over Floyd. Um there's some guys in, in his own sport that has a better legacy than him. Pacquiao has a better legacy than Floyd. And Pacquiao may face, um, he's still fighting, and he may end up facing guys like Earl Spence, guys that Floyd would never face in their prime. You know, Floyd would wait till these guys get all beat up and, you know, pass their prime to face them. And one thing, when you have a speckle, uh when you have, oh, I could fight you, but you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to come down to this weight size, you need to be drained a little bit. Yeah, that's not that's not being so-called great. Boxing is a mono-on-mono sport, man. You got to bring it. And you got to just say, hey, if I take an L one day, I take an L one day. You know? The greatest boxer of all time to me is Muhammad Ali. Um, I like Floyd. I think he's one of the best boxers of all time, defensively. But, I mean, you got to give the people what they want, and you have failed to do that. LeBron James has given the people what they want. Even in win or defeat, you watched him, and he went out there and performed to the best of his abilities to try to win. That alone, with the dominance he had over a decade without quitting the sport and coming back, LeBron James is more than worthy of player of the decade. And he was hands down the best player in basketball for over a decade. So, long live the King James. Peace.